Supporting the attack enables goal scoring opportunities and is vital to a team's success. This attack minded session focuses on player passing and movement to facilitate quick counter attacking and maximizing efforts on goal. To warm up, the coach marks out a grid consisting of nine squares, each five yards by five yards. Players pass and move with a partner inside the square. Partners are numbered one and two. When the coach calls one or two, the respective player moves to a new box and continues play. If three is called, both players must dribble and find a new box. If four is called, the team must switch balls with another box. Next, the team is split into groups of six, forming a diamond passing shape. To begin, one team starts with the balls and must dribble forward as a defender advances and tries to tackle them before they can reach one of the red cones. To progress, the bottom team receive a pass and dribble forward, playing a bounce pass then moving around the red cone before returning the ball to the top. This play continues until all players have rotated through a few times and then progress to the next phase. Two players then take up positions on the red cones leaving two at the bottom and top and one player at either red cone. A ball is passed and followed from the top and bottom simultaneously. Players must make sure their passing is crisp and accurate to ensure play doesn't break down. Progressing further, players at the bottom and top pass out wide before making a central run then send a longer pass to the opposite team. Lastly, a ball is removed with the full team using one ball. Players complete a bounce pass with either side before sending a long ball then take the place of the player on the left cone. This final progression can be complicated, so coaches must take care to simplify and demonstrate the passing pattern effectively. Moving on in the session, the coach sets out a large boxed area 20 by 20 yards or similar, depending on the age and ability of players. The team is split with a 4 versus 4 in the middle of the box and two players from the same team on opposite sides of the box. The coach feeds a ball in to begin play and the central players must maintain possession whilst attempting to switch play between their two outer players. Players on the outer edges must move up and down the lines to support play but cannot enter the box or be tackled. Hot swaps should be conducted with minimal interruption to play. When the coach signals, the two outer players enter the box and two new players adopt the outer positions. The coach can create rules such as five passes creates a forfeit for the opposition team. If the green team create five passes then the blue team must complete five exercises such as star jumps, meanwhile the green team keep the ball moving. As soon as the forfeit is complete play continues and the five passing rule begins again. This exercise can be quite intensive, so the coach should give a debrief and allow players the opportunity for a water break before progressing to a full match to end the session. The session finishes with a match and coach interactions to solidify coaching points from the session. Head to the footballhub.org and subscribe for the full session plan and more great drills or coaching resources.